Fierce flooding in Cicero earlier this month leads to a packed house of angry homeowners in the western suburb tonight. Residents demanding answers about the floods and the help they so desperately need. CBS 2's Madibel Gonzalez is there. Emotions running high at Morton College Theater Tuesday night during a public hearing on the town's flooding report. Police officers even guarding the entrances. 16 days later, it's too late. The venue at capacity with residents pleading for help after their homes were damaged during the series of storms that hit the area. Those who couldn't get in shouted from the outside. We don't need a loan. We need help. Hoping to be heard. And this is by far the worst I've ever seen in my life. I had over four and a half feet of water in my basement. Ana Gonzalez is just one of the hundreds who showed up to the meeting where residents were told that the town has applied for federal resources to help. But ultimately, those still would need to be approved by the president of the United States. It's, it's so much, it's just so bad. You want to cut all the walls off. There's things that have to be done as quickly as possible. So, you know, just I'm hoping that they will help. The town saying it's already done some sewer cleanups and installed catch basins. They've also rotted out more than 100 homes. I've been going through this since 92. 92. So residents here say they want more than that. They want permanent solutions to a recurring problem. We just want answers and what we want to know what the plan is for the town of Cicero to prevent flooding in the future. Sometimes it can be a hit or miss, but this time it was definitely devastating. There's just so much. The town is working with the Red Cross to reach out to those affected. This weekend, they will be giving out free cleaning kits and also offering guidance on where people can get more help. That's happening this Saturday morning at the Cicero Community Park. Reporting in Cicero, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS2 News.